happy birthday, Sagittarians. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, my Sagittarians. Okay, so this is reading Sagittarians. It is beginning from the 23rd until the 29th. Um, happy Thanksgiving to all the people who are celebrating Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, sorry, I can't with all of this. I'm still saying Happy Thanksgiving. We got to celebrate, get together with your family and celebrate. Um, I know that situation with the COVID virus, but um, this is Thanksgiving. We got to thank God that we're still alive, ladies and gentlemen. We just got to thank God that we're still alive. So um, uh, for the people who have lost family with this COVID virus and that, my excuses to you guys, my excuses, my condolence. Also, I just heard also yesterday that a family member was lost or a, a close family member of us um, died two days ago, um, a day or two ago. So um, from that. But anyway, um, congratulations. All right. Um, Sagittarians and Ophiosos, because some of you Ophiosos could be watching. Um, what we're seeing, Sagittarians and Ophiosis, for you guys is that uh, on the 29th, which is the last uh, um, week, the last row, where you see the energy of the Wheel of Fortune, um, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles, um, that is for the Ophiosis. So, um, you Ophiosis, you are born on the 29th until the 17th of December. From the 23rd until the 28th, it is the Sagittarian's um, year, okay? So again, 23rd, 23rd until um, the 28th is Sagittarian. Here is Ophiosis, okay? So if you're Ophiosis, the 20th and was born on the 29th of November, um, that is... Uh, um your year and it's going to be a powerful powerful year so ladies and gentlemen i want to say thank you um for being here happy birthday to each and every person let's see what is happening in transpiring so i see um some of you are going to be offered something it was as if there was some sort of a problems and i see a re resolution is going to be coming in in this year so a lot of you had a whole lot of regrets maybe it's because of the coronavirus whatever that was happening and transpiring a whole lot of regrets but i see truths is going to be coming in because there was some sort of a problem and i see something is going to be offered to you so there could have been some sort of issues that was created by other people's and you're coming in your birthday season and it could be also the the year you know the past year what has happened in transpire so okay ladies and gentlemen let's look and see the center is about you um whatever you know conflicts that you guys were dealing with is going to be over in this new year a lot of you were in dealing with inner conflicts you could be worried about your mom some sort of a real positive news is going to be coming in this is going to be a very positive year remember ladies and gentlemen you can still order your birthday reading and how these birthday reading take place is that each and every person if you were born here you're going to be using this energy coming to this energy coming to this energy coming to this energy returning here so it's like you're doing a cycle so each and every month and this is why i say to a lot of people it's good to order your own birthday readings because you will see what is coming up in all the 12 ounces and that sort of a thing and you will be aware and aligned with some sort of energy and this is going to be powerful so what we're seeing here is that we see the energy of the fool for the people who were born on the 20 uh, on the 23rd um, on the 23rd we see a new start is coming up for you guys i see um some sort of information is is out now and people are um finding out exactly what was transpiring and how a um a cancer could have affected some of your lives and how a cancer have created some sort of an issue for some of you and i see truths is going to be coming out and you are going to be receiving some sort of a new start and i see multiple opportunities is going to be coming in for you because people are aware and aligned and see the wonderful positive 
person you are and see that a cancer could have tried to ruin some of your life or a Scorpio, a cancer or a Scorpio or someone could have tried to ruin some of your lives. And I see truth is going to be coming out now. And I see that you are going to be having a new beginning. So this is a wonderful, wonderful year um, for whoever you are out there, whatever is transpiring. It is a powerful year. A powerful new start is going to be coming in. I see some of you are going to be overcoming some sort of a situation that a Aquarius had created for some of you. And I see they're finding out what this Aquarian has done or what someone, um, some corrupt, um, a person have done. This corrupt person could be a lawyer or someone who work in, um, state of affairs, governments and that sort of a thing. So I see corrupt civil servant have done something and they're find out what this corrupt civil servant has done. I see truth is going to be coming out and some of you are going to be offering some sort of a help. So this year is the year of the moon. A lot of you are going to be finding out who you are, especially um, people who were born 6 p.m. to 6 6 p.m. 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. A whole lot of emotional situation is going to be resolved. Moon people are going to be very psychic in this year. Listen to your own um, intuition because a whole lot of information, a whole lot of help is going to be coming through your intuition. So this is going to be a wonderful, powerful year for the people who were born on the 23rd of uh, November. Then we are looking at the people who were born on the 24th of November. Truth is going to be coming out. And I see whatever truth is coming out, you're not regretting it. Some of you could have been dealing with some sort of an emotional situation where people have used their powers in the wrong way. And I see a light has been shed and they're finding out how people were affecting a lot of you in a diff, in a very different, um, very horrible way and some sort of a false act and deceptiveness that was created. I see a lot of you who are dealing with uh, a scorpion or a... Uh, or a cancer, they're going to be finding out a whole lot of uh, um, information about a scorpion and a cancer, how they have created a whole lot of false height and deceptiveness um, in your life, a whole lot of emotional situation. You're going to be facing your emotional situation, a lot of emotional situation that you have set um, under the rug or under the the the, the t -t -t -pie. Um, you're going to be releasing it and healing all the emotional situation that you were dealing with. Truths are going to be coming out. The energy of nine, five, and three is here. Nine, five, and three. A whole lot. This is going to be an emotional year for you guys, but it's going to be a po positive emotional year. The energy of this garden is a beautiful one. I see healing is going to be coming in. Ailing a whole lot of uh, emotional situation um, that you guys were having who were born on the 24th. So you have the energy of the garden, which is 22 duality. So a whole lot of healing from emotional hangups that you have um, with your life and your past life. And I see truths is coming out. It's going to be a positive, positive year. Okay. Then we're moving on to the people who are born on the 25th and you have the energy of the star. It's a year of healing, wonderful, powerful healing is going to be coming in i see some of you could be just leaving a situation behind you're healing yourself by leaving a job a house a work or something behind that no longer serves you i see you're turning your back to a sort of a um it could be work that you're turning your back and you're saying i'm going to go and begin as a freelancer or work for myself and i see that it's going to be a very successful event so a lot of you who have worked at um a company for a very long time is going to be saying yeah I'm leaving. It could be leaving a company, leaving a bank, leaving a financial institution, leaving a mortgage broker or whatever that was happening and transpire because they realize, um, you realize that if you're on your own, you can uh, make more money and, uh, um, create your own wealth and, uh, um, work for yourself by creating a whole lot of projects. So, around you that is going to be bringing some sort of a stability for you in your life because if you notice some of you feel as if some sort of a stability is in a race and you're going to be bringing back and healing that because the energy of the cross is here and the energy of the cross is the end to some unhealthy situations that was affecting you by other people or it could be um, yeah, affecting you by other people that this is this, this is now come to an end. So a corporation institution, some of you could be working.
working in a corporation institution or dealing with a corporation institution and they're going to be finding out that this corporation institution has been very deceptive and has created some sort of a deceptive play and they're going to be finding out the truth and it's going to be bringing it to an end I see a lot of you are going to be choosing to go and work for yourself and create your own wealth and it's going to be a yes the energy of the star is 17 4 and 7 um, um, 36 is 9 so transition is coming up a whole lot of you are going to be making some sort of a transition when it comes to work or business you're going to be deciding that it is better for you to make some sort of a um, changes when it comes up to your work life a lot of you could be deciding um, to buy a new house or change house or if you live you're renting you're going to be buying a house and that is going to be good in this year also let's move and look at the people who were born on the 26 you're in the center of this year you are going to be very successful people who are born on the 26th of november is going to be very successful um your emotional on ups and uh, um self um furniturine is now over success is the name of the game in this year for you guys so Whoever was born on the 26th, success is the name of the game. I see you no longer worried about issues. You're no longer worried about your parents. If your mom was sick, your mom is going to be feeling much better. You no longer worry about materialistic stability. It's as if things are working out in your favor. You are shining like the star that you are. The four of pentacles, the spotlight is going to be on a whole lot of you that was born. The 26th of November, because I see positive alignment of energy is coming up. So it's going to be a really wonderful year and it is going to be affecting everyone in this year because it's in the center of the year where you see um, the energy of the Empress is about materialistic wealth and because you are a success materialistic wealth is going to be coming up and here I said success the energy of the star oh yes so congratulations to the people who are born on the 26th this year is going to be an absolutely powerful year. Um, people are going to be seeing who you are. A lot of you are going to be realizing who you are. You're going to be so powerful. People are going to be um, want to connect and be on your team. Okay. A lot of you who are having issues as a mother, um, you could find out that you get pregnant in this year. A lot of you who are having issues with your mother and was worried about some sort of issues, past life issues, that sort of a thing. I see it's going to be um, very, very successful. So you have three and four is seven and five you have and you have the star and the star is always success it doesn't really matter um um it's always always a success so what i see is that you're going to be successfully overcome some sort of an issue and situation that friends or other people outside have created in your world i see truth is going to be coming out and as some sort of a balance is coming in truth is going to be coming out about a liberal and what a liberal has done and I see balance is going to be coming in. Your worries is going to be over and you're going to be a success. You're going to be very successful and you're going to be standing in the spotlight. As we move to the people who were born on the 27th, another wonderful energy, the energy of the sun. Congratulations. So people who were born on the 27th of November, you have the energy of the sun. A lot of you are going to be showing up, um, showing up some sort of information about a Leo um and uh and a liberal and a leo a lot of you are going to be having some sort of an issue with the liberal and the leo but you're going to be showing up uh, some sort of a situation over some conflicts that was going on you shed light on these people and the situation around you and show people who these people are and the lies the, the the deceptive play that they made so i see emotional Worries is going to be over over your project and your business. I see you're shedding light on a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn man. I see the conflict is now going to be over because people are going to be finding out what this person have done and how this person have created a whole lot of problems and issue into your world. Truths are going to be aware and people are going to be finding out what was happening. So congratulations to the people who were born on the 27th of November. You're going to be shedding light on a whole lot of situation that people were not aware of. And I see you're going to be bringing conflicts and situation to a end luck is here for you guys congratulations so 
um, a whole lot this is going to be a very lucky year for everyone because you're going to be working these energy month by month so if you start whatever energy you start with with a month count 12 months later to find out when this luck is going to be coming up for you guys because luck is going to be here you are going to be also a success in your own way showing up things showing up people and showing up the deceptive play that has happened and that has transpired and that is going to be good all right ladies and gentlemen congratulations happy birthday you have the energy of the sun 19 2 and 5 and 2 so dualities and a whole lot of luck is going to be coming up for you guys so be aware of that and be open for the energy it's not too late to ask for your own personalized reading then um we're looking at the people who were born under 28 i see you're um dealing with a situation with a taurus virgo or a capricorn man whoever this man is i see you stood your ground over this man whoever this man is whether it's a businessman whether it's your partner whether it's your husband whether it's your brother um whoever this man is you stood your ground um the 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 the, the, the you know you stood your ground and said listen no 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 and you stood your ground over this person and let this person know how far they can walk over you i see you stood your ground over an aquarian and you are successful overcome the situation i see a taurus virgo capricorn woman 50 years or older is going to be helping some of you sagittarian in order to resolve some sort of a situation where a capricorn man has created some sort of a problem and issues and you're going to this lady is going to be standing up against this um Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man and they're going to be finding out the truth who this man is and what this man has created so you guys have the energy of strength which is eight and two eight and two long-term stability is going to be coming up for you guys you stood up against some horrible injustice that was at play you stood your ground to some really deceptive play that was at the play and you realize that um you know you I've seen how in uh, how deceptive this businessman is or the stories. It's coming up as a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, so it could affect you guys in different ways. And you're really realizing how deceptive this man was and is and what this man has created. So I see strength. I see strength, but you overcome the situation and you bring back balance in your world. So eight and two is ten, a new start, and five, 18. So that is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful reading, ladies and gentlemen. Then Ophiosis, congratulations, Ophiosis. Your birthday begins, the Wheel of Fortune, King of Pentacles. You're going to be using the King of Pentacles energy, and you're going to be creating your own wealth, a new start, a new start of stability is here for you, Ophiosis. It's going to be a powerful, powerful year. And the Wheel of Fortune is bringing back, um, it could be um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn in your life. It's coming up as a Taurus woman. So a Taurus woman could be coming in to help you out of some sort of a dilemma that was going on. And I see this Taurus woman is going to be returning in your life, offering you something and wants to have a new start with you. It could be your mom or it could be your ex-wife. Uh, ex, uh, um, or it could be a sister or some sort of a friend who is going to be returning and bringing you luck in this year. So Ophiosis, take this help that is coming in. This person is going to be coming back. It could be a child for some of you, but it, it this person is coming back to give you guys a new start. So a Taurus woman is definitely going to be coming into your life in order to give you some sort of a new beautiful start so enjoy this year is going to be um, a positive year it's going to be a year of um, news positive news positive transition it's going to be a year of new start that is going to be coming in and affecting you and a whole lot of positive alignment of energies is going to be coming in it's never too late to do a birthday reading or a year reading if you don't want to do a birthday since this, your birthday is already here and you want to do a year reading it's the same sort of a process that you see in each month what is going to be happening and the six house can change depends on if this is the birthday or is the year reading but the six hours can change but i love this for you guys congratulations let me know how it went for you namaste until next time